Good evening and welcome to today's Tropics for uh, May 16th, 2021. Please note, I am not a meteorologist and this video is just a collection of my thoughts and opinions about the storm we're talking about and for any decision making, please consult uh, your local officials. So today I'm looking at tropicals, or Tropical Cyclone uh, Tate and this is a, now a 120 knot uh, tropical cyclone so it is a very intense cyclone and uh, the eye is kind of popping in and out, in and out here, and you have the deep convection. So it does seem that uh, it does seem like a reasonable, reasonable intensity, especially with the a possible eye wall replacement cycle here. So um, it it is a very strong and dangerous cyclone right now. Uh, now you can see it's been tracking kind of up the um, the kind of west coast of India, and there's some higher terrain there. So that means uh, as you get those easterly winds ahead of the cyclone, you have the uh, air sinking down from those that higher terrain. And so you have warming, drying air coming down, and that's kind of been providing some dry air intrusions and, and uh, kind of weakened the northwestern quad of the storm. So uh, that could be why the satellite presentation isn't the best. Uh, aside from the uh, eyewall replacement cycle as well. But you can see as it kind of continues tracking a bit west, of, a kind of more uh, north-northwest, and the, the coast curves more to the north, it's going to um, probably pull away a bit from the land uh, as it uh, heads for a landfall somewhere uh, here in uh, Gujarat. And... So it might be able to get away from that dry air, but if it has an uh, eyeball replacement cycle here coming, it doesn't seem that it'll get a whole lot stronger. But we'll have to the sea because this is, uh, again, nearing landfall. So taking a look here at a re relatively recent uh, microwave pass. This is a few hours ago from, uh, or a few hours before I was recording, and you can kind of see that uh, downsloping on the eastern uh, side of the storm, there isn't really as much of an eye wall as there is on the uh, west side. And you can see uh, a much larger band trying to wrap around, and that could um, might be a sign of a uh, an eye wall replacement cycle, and that could also be another reason behind this kind of uh, not the most healthy looking uh, uh, satellite presentation. And while that would keep it from getting too much stronger in the land, that will also make it uh, make its wind field expand, and that uh, would be bode badly for places further out, especially uh, right in kind of this area where water uh, water is going to get funneled and cause higher surge. And now, looking at the water vapor imagery, you can see um, some upper level troughing here into the Arabian Sea, and then the and that means the uh, subtropical so jet kind of dips down into this area, and uh, Tate is kind of tapping into that, and it's got some good upflow coming out from here, and that's certainly helping the storm. Uh, also, to the east of it, you have this uh, this ridge here; it's helping to steer it, and and that and that's kind of keeping it uh, moving north northwest right now again as. It uh, nears the western uh, periphery of that ridge, and eventually uh, curving a bit more northeast as it rounds the ridge and starts heading uh, n north of it. So uh, those are two uh, major factors right now. Look on the uh, H work forecast that's valid a little bit ago, about an hour before I was recording. See, yeah, that um, ridge is kind of nosing into this area, and that is, uh, again, steering it generally along the coast and uh, then into Gujarat here. And uh, looking at the shear, usually if you have a storm that's getting near the subtropical jet, that sometimes means it gets into this area and starts getting sheared, but it seems that it's a little too far north, so once it hits land, it, uh, it might still be uh, too far south to get really sheared, so it doesn't seem that uh, wind shear is going to be a major hindrance on the storm. Rather, it seems that um, the po possibility for some more downsloping and 
its associated dryer and the uh, eyewall replacement cycle might keep a lid on it for the next uh, little bit, which will take it into landfall. But uh, even with those factors, it'll, it'll likely still be a very strong and dangerous storm in the landfall. And uh, you should be definitely uh, preparing for it. Let's take a look at the uh, official uh, JTWC uh, forecast for it. And you see um, it's a little outdated. It's from uh, 18Z, so it's about six hours ago, and it's now been, uh, upgraded to 110 knot, or 120 knots. But uh, otherwise, uh, this yeah it does seem consistent with, or uh, this is what is it expected to do is uh, again just pull away a little bit from the land and then start curving a bit more north and then making landfall and, uh, starting to move a bit more to the east as it rounds that ridge and you can see it is um, weakening the winds and if we do have that uh, eyeball replacement cycle uh, we will indeed see that weaken so uh, even though it is uh, expected to weaken a little bit uh, this is um, it is expected to still be a strong and uh, possibly major uh, tropical cyclone as it heads into the landfall. And you definitely, if you are in the path of this, should not be uh, taking this lightly. It is a dangerous storm, so I should be uh, preparing it for it as best as possible. And since um, landfall is expected within about 18 hours, uh, it's definitely you should. It's definitely getting close, and you should be making your last-minute preparations as it comes in. Also, another thing, uh, not quite in the core, but as it passes by here uh, into the coast, you'll see the cyclonic flow here, once it's here, means you have winds uh, getting southerly into this gulf area. And if you have southerly winds coming into here, especially strong ones associated with a, a major tropical cyclone such as Tate, that means you'll have water getting pushed into here and it can't get out because that wind, again, is pushing it. So it gets funneled into this area. And so you have enhanced surge um, when that happens, and that uh, could indeed happen. So if you are living in that area, even though you might not see the core of uh, Tate, you will end up uh, probably seeing some uh, surge and possible flooding if you are in a low-lying area. So uh, stay safe and uh, definitely get the last year of preparations done as there isn't a whole lot of time before uh, the storm will likely head inland. Uh, otherwise, there isn't a whole lot going on uh, elsewhere in the tropics right now. If you have any questions or comments about my video, please let me know. And thanks for watching.